Welcome to Old Harbor. I am Chef Melissa Byrne. This is Traditional Foods Contemporary Chef Kodiak Edition. up to Big Creek. It's a small stream, a salmon stream, and uh, we went up there to harvest salmon. It took a while. We had an adventure getting up the creek, but um, once we arrived at our fishing spot, we were able to harvest several salmon. Um, we had three generations who were able to spend the day fishing, casting, and um, getting our fill of salmon. We had a wonderful lunch on the beach until we were interrupted by a sow with two cubs. And um, it was quite eventful. It was a great day. It was quite surprising and everyone gathered their belongings as fast as they could. We packed up all of our fish and uh, quickly got them in the skiff and we were out of there as fast as we could. Okay, so we're back in the kitchen with Alaska Native Chef Melissa Burns, and you're going to be showing us a very simple recipe uh, with the fish eggs that we caught yesterday. Yes, um, we are going to be making a salmon caviar, and like she said, these are the salmon eggs that we had taken out of the silver salmon that we had caught up in Big Creek yesterday. And um, very, very simple dish, but it is very impressive. And um, I'm going to start off. Um, the ingredients for this is two quarts of very cold water. Um, I want to stress the importance of the cold water because your eggs will get really sticky and um, it's nice to keep, keep them um, chilled down as with any other fish products when you're working with them. So I'm going to go ahead and add my two quarts of cold water and I'm going to add one cup of super fine salt or you can also use a kosher salt. And I'm going to mix this up, and if you would please add those two skeins of sure. salmon Just drop them eggs. Right in. Yes. There you go. Okay, and this mixture will cure your eggs. We're going to let them soak here for about 45 minutes, and in about 45 minutes, we will come back. They'll be cured, it'll be a little bit firmer, and they'll easily separate from their skein. Well, our um, caviar has been brining for about 45 minutes, so now we're going to separate them from the skein. Can you help me do that? Oh yeah, okay. ready and willing. So you're going to want to go ahead and pull out one of those. You can um, rip it into a smaller, manageable piece okay. because they will just come apart for you. Oh. And what you're going to want to do is take them over here and you're going to separate each piece of egg and it should just come right off, see so like those two just come right off and so you're going to slowly work from one end to the other. Mm -hmm. And there's a little thin membrane that you're going to end up with and go ahead and discard that on this piece of paper. After. But you can just rub them with your fingers and they should just pull right off. So while you are doing that, I'm going to go ahead and cut up some of this angelica that Gary and I had harvested earlier from outside my, from across the street from my house. So you said that uh, local people around Old Harbor call the angelica what? Uh, Petroskucks. Petroskucks. Yep. And um, they're used a lot in seafood dishes, in soups, and um, so in this case we're going to use it with the salmon eggs and it's the same flavor, that salty seafood flavor, it'll just go really well with it. And they do have a pretty strong flavor, so I'm going to cut them up pretty small here. A, a fine chop. This is a time-consuming process, so. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, all oh, yeah. that separating. <laughs> <laughs> Might be here for a couple minutes. Oh yes. Okay, I think that we have done a really good job at separating our eggs here. They've got a beautiful color, and so I'm gonna go ahead and add the angelica. If you do me a favor and mix it up. No problem. Great. Wow, that looks so beautiful. beautiful. 